Hey, it's Captain Matt, Boater Secret Weapon, and today we're talking about the most hated boaters. Yes, those boaters that you see on the water and your blood just boils. You see them posted about on social media all over the place. So let's dive in. The first, not what you may think. On this one, this is the guy that just goes above idle speed and just plows that water, getting the water all stirred up, putting out huge wakes. They're usually going by a boat ramp or a busy marina, or maybe the maybe they're going by the anchorage where everybody's at the sandbar, and they're just plowing by, thinking that there's nothing going on in the world other than them just enjoying the water. Meanwhile, they're just making boats bounce up and down and uh, causing all sorts of destruction and mayhem. I call this guy Austin Plowers. Next, we've got the guy. He, he dropped 15 grand on a stereo, and he is going to let everybody hear whatever music they want to play. Usually, it's the worst kind of music going. Uh, this guy I call DJ Turndown. He's usually at the sandbar or uh, surfing or wakeboarding and just uh, blaring his music way louder than it needs to be for anybody, let alone uh, those that don't care for his music. Now, this one you knew was coming. This is the guy that lets his kids or anyone sit up on the bow with their feet dangling over the edge, especially on a pontoon where if you fall in, there's only one place to go. And unfortunately, there's been some very tragic accidents that have happened already this year. The bow riders, do not be a bow rider. Please, please, please do not be a bow rider. Then we've got this guy. You've seen him running down the lake, running down the intercoastal, and they always have the brightest LED lights. That's the one upgrade they made on their boat is to get the brightest lights possible, and they think they're headlights. I call him at least I can see guy because all he cares about is, hey, it's too dark. I can't see. Meanwhile, he's got every other light on in his boat, which is ruining his night vision. So he turns his docking lights on, and now he ruins everybody else's night vision. Keep those docking lights off. Don't be at least I can see guy. You're blinding everybody else on the water, ruining their night vision. Same thing at the boat ramp. This one, this one may be just a, I don't know type situation, but you're leaving your headlights and your high beams on at the boat ramp. Well, the guy next to you, as they're backing down the ramp, guess what? Those lights are right in his mirror, right where he's trying to figure out where he's going in the dark. And now you're blinding him. Also, the guy that sits in the parking lot and shoots his light down towards the ramp, uh, blinding everybody that uh, is on the water, looking back up towards putting the boat on the trailer, or even just sitting in your truck trying to back down with those bright lights. I call them Mr. High Beams. Keep those high beams, keep those headlights off once you get uh, to the boat ramp. Of course, there's another boat ramp one. You knew these people. You've seen them. You've been frustrated by them. They're the ones that get their boat down to the ramp, and then they decide, oh, yeah, we should take the transom straps off. We should take the cover off. We should put the 17 coolers in the boat and the wakeboard and the fishing poles and our six kids and the three dogs. And, yeah, we got to get everything loaded up, and we still have to wait for little Billy because he had to go to the bathroom, and now we're just going to sit here until we're all loaded up while that line is packed up. Meanwhile, everybody else is taking care of business in the staging area, getting everybody loaded into the boat, are ready, at least ready to go to hop on once you get it back down and off the ramp in a couple of minutes. <laughs> this gun I call oblivious at the boat ramp. Just in their own little world, not paying any attention to, to the delay they're causing everybody else and the backup at the boat ramp on a Saturday is already crazy busy. Now, you may have noticed this person at the sandbar, uh, you know, at the anchorage, at the island. They pull their boat up, they hop off, and they go start partying. Meanwhile, their boat starts drifting. The tide starts going out. Their boat starts getting getting stuck on, on the sandbar. Uh, their anchor loses hold, and now they're just kind of floating around, and the owner of the boat is nowhere to be found. I call him Captain Invisible, making everybody else worry about his boat from running into theirs or causing mayhem and mischief <laughs> or just floating away completely or getting stuck on the sandbar. Do not be Captain Invisible. If you're going to go party, great, but make sure you pay attention. Keep an eye on your boat. It's nobody else's responsibility but yours. Now, this guy you go, you find a perfect little cove, you're anchoring out, having a good time. You're just fish. Maybe you're fishing. Maybe you found a, a great spot. You're 30 miles offshore. And lo and behold, some guy pulls up right next to you, throws their anchor out, puts their poles in the water, starts trolling right next to you. Now, I understand 
Nobody owns the water. Everybody can be everywhere. But there's a little bit of personal space, a little personal consideration, I think, that should be given. If you pull into a cove, there's already a boat in there. Hey, go to the other side of the cove. You know, anchor a distance away from them so that everybody can have their time. Unless you ask, hey, you want to tie up and and, uh, hang out? That may be a different story. But this guy I call too close for comfort. Hey, give a little space. Be, uh, Be respectful of some boundaries. And then, of course, you knew this was coming. I want to hear what you call this person. This is the guy, the boat. Usually it's a jet ski. They cut right behind you, and they want to jump your wake. All they care about is getting to that wake, getting as high and as far and as sending it as best they can. They don't care whether there's a surfer back there, a wakeboarder, a tube. Maybe there's another boat on the other side of you that um, they're going to just shoot right out in front of. All they see is, oh, big boat, big wake. I'm going to send it. And um, I call this guy the wake jumper. Let me hear what you call this person. (laughs) What do you call this person? Because I know you've got some good ones. I've seen them out there. Um, I've seen them in the comment section. If you're new to boating, Check out the Boater Boot Camp. It's a three-part video series. You can get it for free at boaterbootcamp.com. Uh, go check that out. It's tremendously valuable. If you're a new boat owner, you'll be glad you did it. Um, if you are struggling handling your boat, putting in the dock, uh, check out bestboatcaptainonthewater.com. That program is incredible. It's helped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people um, handle their boat with confidence. If you trailer and you struggle with that, trailer like a pro, whether it's getting on the ramp, off the ramp, the boat on the trailer, off the trailer, uh, that trailer like a pro will fix that problem for you. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.